Houston Hall reporting with Texas News Service. As you can see, just because of uh, the incidents that happened earlier this afternoon doesn't mean they're not going to continue with the graduation. Graduates have been receiving their degrees since about roughly 1.30 this afternoon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, as you can see, they got the line down on the football field. Uh, typically, graduation in the uh, spring is at the football field, and in the winter, it is at the gymnasium. But because of what happened earlier this morning, in regards to a possible bomb threat, they had to move. And it sounds looks like Tarleton and its staff and, this, and the administration uh, people have taken care of what could have been a disastrous situation. Again, this is Houston Hall with Texas News Service. We'll keep you posted. Uh, I got with me today uh, Dr. Snyder, who's head of academic affairs uh, here at Tarleton State University. And uh, again, I'm Houston Hall with Texas News Service. Dr. Snyder, the turn of events today were quite shocking. Yeah, unusual. I guess after yesterday's event in Connecticut, we were perhaps fearful that there'd be a copycat of some kind somewhere, and it happened to be here. Yeah. their day you know okay and did you see anything like this happening I mean because of what happened in Connecticut that's become the main focus yeah I was shocked when I got here I didn't think anything like this would happen gotcha okay do you have anything else you wish to say I mean congratulations to all the graduates of Tarleton State handled everything really well okay Thank you all very much. Hope you have a good evening, huh? Thank you. Did the code purple that you know of go out to evacuate Wisdom Gym? I can't give you the exact time, but it was pretty close to 1230 when I got a notification on code purple. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And uh, 45 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, is what you said is how long it took to evacuate, move people, and figure out what to do? To me, like about 45 minutes later, and we were starting a ceremony in a different location in the in the, in the, uh, the football stadium. I think that's pretty remarkable for physical facilities and, and the administration and the police department to get that done. Gotcha. And before we close the ceremony with the color sign, we have some announcements about the gymnasium and your personal belongings. Thank you, Dr. DiTapio, and thank you once again to each and every person here today. We sincerely appreciate your willingness to bear with us during this ceremony. Uh, the building has been secured. It's all clear. There's not a problem. Final thoughts. I mean, do you think this was a prank, or do you think, uh, this, I mean, you can't take this lightly. But well, I think it was a prank, but no, you could not no matter what anybody thought you could not take it lightly you had to take it absolutely seriously uh, we've seen too many cases where there are people who will do unthinkable things and so you have to you have to plan for the worst even when you hope that it's simply a prank yes sir okay thank you very much dr snyder thank you again uh, this is houston hall with texas news service uh graduations have uh well they finished and graduates are happy to have their diplomas and have them safely this is houston hall with texas news service Y'all take it easy.